will help to read. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. And so, Father, as we worship you this morning, Father, as we worship you this morning, we ask, O oh Lord, that your presence will envelop us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Have your way, O oh Lord. Amen. Glorify your name. Amen. Heal the sick. Amen. Restore backsliders unto you. Amen. Heal our land, O oh God. Amen. Let your name, Daddy, be glorified. Amen. Thank you, mighty God. Amen. For we have no power of our whole. Yes, Holy Spirit, our trust is in you. Amen. Our trust is in you. Amen. We ask you over God that our faith will not fail. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Um, I want to say good morning um, to everyone. Amen. It's too close. Can you just draw it back? Amen. Zoom it back in. Um, I want to. I want everyone that um, is on the line just get the your in book. Amen. Or go on Google. Wonderful story of love. Amen. Thank you. That's too close. Amen. With rapture announced, shepherds with wonder receive. Say now, oh, won't you believe it? Wonderful story of love. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful story of love. Let us rejoice before the Lord. Hallelujah. The second stanza. Wonderful story of love. Though you were far away. Wonderful story of love. Still you don't call today. Calling from Calvary's mountain, down from the priest of fountain, even from dawn of creation. Wonderful story, wonderful, wonderful, hallelujah. Wonderful story of love. Hallelujah. Wonderful story of love. Jesus provides a rest. Wonderful story of love. For all the pure and blessed. Rest in those mansions above us, with those who've gone on before us, singing the rapturous chorus. Wonderful, wonderful, hallelujah. Hallelujah, wonderful. We are going 
to take the first stanza again. Wonderful, wonderful story of love. Tell it to me again. Wonderful story of love. Wake the mortal strain. Angels with rapture and Nancy. Shepherds with wonders receive it. See now, won't you believe it? Wonderful story of love. Wonderful. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Wonderful. Wonderful story. In my kid, in my house, so do you share it? Makaba, baba, 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 do you mara ba yere? Ye mama ma seke de mara ba hore ma seke de. Ye re mara mama ma ko do mara ba yere. Linga ma seke de mara ba ko do mara ba yere. Ma so ko do ro bo seke de. Ye mama ma ke de mara ba ra ba ra ba ra ba ra ba ra ba ra ba. Ye re mara mama ma 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 ke de mara ba yere. Lord we worship you. Lord we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Let's sing a new song unto the Lord. Maseke de marabayere. Makodoro bosheke de marababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababab
You are Alpha. You are Alpha and Omega. And Omega. We worship you, O Lord. I love We give you home, we give you all, we give Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We Coming down flat, shout a bigger hallelujah. Children, shout hallelujah. Let your voice stand out before the Lord. Give him praise. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we honor you. We glorify your name. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be the name of Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. And so, Heavenly Father, we want to say thank you for the privilege and the opportunity to come into your presence, to fellowship together as a body of Christ, a church without walls. This is the church without walls. Daddy, we say thank you for removing every limitation. Do I have a better amen? amen? Thank you for removing every barrier. Amen. Thank you for removing every favoritism. Amen. Thank you, O oh God, for removing jealousy. Amen. Thank you for removing pride. Amen. Thank you, O oh God, for making an express direct way to you, O oh God. Amen. Father, grant us grace. Amen. Grant us mercy. Amen. Grant us wisdom. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There is someone on the line. When you woke up this morning, you had a pain on the right hand side of your shoulder. The right the like the upper side of your shoulder. Healing is taking place there right now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Healing is taking place there right now. Thank you, Lord. There is someone within the last 24 hours. You were asking the Lord that it's as if I am stagnant. It's as if I can't make progress because of this lockdown. Thus says the Lord, the snare is broken. There may be an official legal lockdown, but your heavens will never lock down. Do I have a better amen? amen? In fact, I received that for myself. Your heaven, the Lord say, I should say unto you, 
your heavens are not locked down. If you receive that shout, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, Lord, we thank you. We magnify your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And the people of God say, amen and amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Amen and amen. I want to say good morning to everyone again, to everyone that has dialed in on Facebook, Instagram, everyone on Zoom. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. The number keep increasing. The church of God is marching on amen. and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. My name is Charles Edo. I'm the pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Rivers of Love. I bring you greetings from my general vassia, Pastor Iye Adeboye, and um, all the trustees, the members, um, and the leadership of the church. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Our leader in United Kingdom is Pastor Agu Iroku. Amen and amen. By the special grace of God, I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue with um, the message um, last week titled The Power of Guidance. The Power of Guidance. Amen. Um, we took our text from Psalm 32, 7 to 11. Um, Psalm 32, 7 to 11. And we also looked at. Um, Proverbs 19, 21. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, we, 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 may, okay, let's, let's look at that um, Psalm 32 again. Um, if you're there, you can please read for us Psalm 32, 7 to 11. I'll do a quick recap. Yes. Thou art my hiding place. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. I, me. I was expecting somebody to say a big amen, amen. That the Lord will be your, your hiding place and um, it will preserve you from trouble. Amen. Yes, continue, ma'am. Thou shalt compass me about the songs of deliverance. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Yes. Which is our, our focal point, our focal scripture. Amen. Um, for for this um series. Thou shalt what please take that 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 was that, that I, shall, will I will instruct thee and teach thee in the, way, which thee in the way which thou shalt go, and I will, I will guide thee with my eyes. Praise the living Jesus. Uh, yes, please take it to 11. Yes. Be not as the don't be stubborn. Oh, don't be, don't be, um, don't add in your heart. Uh, are you with me? Whenever the Lord instructs, uh, whenever, because I'm going to tell us uh, different ways that God speaks to us, that he guides us. I will be telling us. Uh, but when you hear, yeah, the Bible is saying, I may mean, not have the time, to come back to the scripture. You know, don't harden your heart. Um, it, um, stubbornness, it goes before destruction. The Bible says that the sin of stubbornness is like the sin of a witchcraft. Um, some people uh, may not know, but it's in the Bible. Yes, read on. Uh, yes. Or as the mold, which yeah. Have no understanding. Which has no understanding. Uh, uh, you, you, you must have an understanding that God knows all things. You see, when God speaks to you, He may not speak to you in the way you want. He may not speak to you what you want to hear, but it will speak to you what you need. Hallelujah. What will help you? What will take you to a whole new level? Do have an amen in the house. Uh, praise. So the, the, the Bible is saying to us that um, don't live like someone that does not have understanding. Amen. amen. Um, uh, because sometimes the instruction of God may not make sense. And the truth about the matter is that salvation does not really make sense. Amen. amen. And, I, and I give God all the glory that it doesn't make sense. Because if it does make sense. 
you know, we would have toyed with it, but we cannot explain it. Hallelujah. We believe it. Then we began to understand. You cannot understand it until you believe. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, continue, ma'am. Whose mouth was the held in with beat and bridle? Yes, please take it again. Yes. Whose no, mouth sorry. Start from the top again. Yeah. Be ye not as the oars. Be ye not the as the oars as the mole. Which have no understanding. Which have no understanding. Whose mouth was the held in with beat? Whose and mouth bridle? must be held with beat and bridle? Let the come near. Unto Least thee. they come near unto thee. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked. But he that trusted in the Lord. But he that trust in the Lord. Mercy shall compass him about. May mercy compass you about in the name of Jesus. Amen. amen and amen. And the last verse, be glad in the Lord and rejoice ye righteous and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Praise the Lord. Uh, that, that was the our um, main scripture um on um sorry i'm trying to on on sunday amen that was our main scripture on sunday and uh, we also looked at proverbs 19 21 proverbs 19 21 um if anyone is there you can read there are many devices in the man's hand did you hear that there are many devices there are many plans there are many dreams there are many aspirations there are many strategies you know Whichever keyword you want to use, you can use it. There are many of them in a man's heart, not only in your heart, even in the hearts of men towards you. You know, take for example, your father may have um, a plan for you. Your mother may have a plan for you. Your spouse may have a plan for you. There are many what? Devices. There are many devices. There are many plans. There are many aspirations in a man's heart, but nevertheless, nevertheless the the Lord only the stand. counsel of the Lord will stand. Do have an amen. amen. Only the counsel of the Lord shall stand. And as your amen will thunder this morning, I join my faith with the faith of my father in the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboye. And I decree and I declare that every counsel over your life, every plan and devices over your life and destiny, that is not God's will. Let them be cancelled now Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let them be cancelled now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me give you an instance because some of you are not saying Amen. Amen. Perhaps maybe because you don't understand it. It is God's will. It is God's counsel. It is God's plan that you should be fruitful. Now, a man may have it in his heart that so and so will not be fruitful. And and that man may be walking against the fruitfulness of that person, whether physically or spiritually. Do you get what I'm saying? And, um, uh, and, and, and the person may be walking tirelessly to see that so-and-so is not fruitful in life and in destiny. But the Bible is saying to you, and I believe this is an instructive word for somebody. The Lord is saying unto you this morning that the counsel of the Lord shall stand. Amen. Do you have an amen in the amen. house? Lift up one hand unto heaven and say, Father, as you overthrow the counsel of Ahitophel, come and overthrow every counsel that is not of your will in my life, in my home, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Now, if you play string there, amen. Now, one of the things that we said was that a guided person will always find a hiding place. Amen. Well, that we, we said that. I won't, take, I won't explain that. We also said that a guided person is protected from trouble. Hallelujah. Amen. I was saying to a friend yesterday, I said, if God guides you, you can't be in trouble. You can't. You can't. Even in the midst of trouble, it will not come near you. Uh, we also said that a guided person is surrounded with songs of deliverance. Amen. You remember the story of Daniel. Hallelujah. Amen. God guided him. God will guide you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Also, we said a guided person is a bold and a confident person. A guided person is a bold 
and confident person. Praise the living Jesus. Somebody say, I will be guided by the Lord in the name of Jesus. I will be guided by the Lord in the name of Jesus. We also said that a guided person cannot overstay in one place. And that was Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 6. Deuteronomy 1, 6. A guided person cannot remain in one position for too long. Praise the Lord. We also uh, mentioned, let me just quick and recap there, that the um, 2 Corinthians 10, 4 to 5, uh, the Bible says, for the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. Now, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Now, why am I quoting the scripture? Why is the Lord giving someone um, the scripture, this uh, morning. It is because as God is speaking to man, there are three other voices. There are two other voices. There are two other voices that speaks to man. Amen. Apart from the voice of God, there is the voice of the world, which we call the voice of the devil, which can come through man whose heart is uncircumcised and who advise Things negative, negatively, um, contrary to the counsel of God. That is one. And we also have our human spirit that speaks to us. Are you with me? So they come as thoughts. They come as imaginations. And they conflict with What's what God is saying to us. Amen. So this scripture is saying that the weapons of our warfare are not canal. But mighty in God to the pulling down of strongholds. Strongholds there means thoughts, you get it, that has held you strongly. Some cultures, some traditions that has held you bound. That whenever you want to make a decision, irrespective of what the Bible says, irrespective of what the Lord is saying to you, you still try to parallel to compare it, um, your your custom, your tradition um, with the word of God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. So the Bible is saying we have to, we have to do what we have to pull it down. We have to pull it down. We have to be focused on the word of God. Amen. Our heart must be set on what God is saying. It may not make sense. It may not be convenient. Um, no one else might have done something like that before. But if it is God, if you have trained your mind in listening to God, in, in, recog good, that's the word, in recognizing the voice of God, it will be easy for you to stand out um, from the crowd. Hallelujah. Because... Uh, it is in politics that we say majority carries the vote. But when it comes to walking with the Lord, the Bible says that narrow is the path that leads to it. Only few. Amen. Only few. Amen. Only few. Praise the Lord. Not too many. So it means that when it comes to the counsel and the will of God, when it comes to doing God's will, you may be the only one that stands out. So I want to encourage you. Train yourself to recognize the voice of God. Hallelujah. Train yourself to recognize the voice of God. And without deviating for too long, the easiest way, amen, to recognize the voice of God is the voice that is asking you to do good. It is so easy. You don't need any formal education. Amen. I have nothing against um, Bible college. 
I have nothing against school of the prophets. I have nothing against that. But the easiest way, the, the baby step way of recognizing the voice of God is the voice that is asking you to do good. And when we talk about doing good, we are talking, we are talking about, we are talking about forgiving. Amen. Amen. We are talking about showing mercy. Are, are you with me? We are talking about being kind. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We, we are talking about um, moving forward from that argument. Hallelujah. Yes, we, with those baby steps, I believe you understand. You understand what, what, what I'm saying. And we used King Saul and King David as a case study. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Now going into today, I want someone to open to Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. Genesis 1 3, because I'm going to talk to Ross on how God guides. How God guides us. But there is something I would like to stress there. Praise the living Jesus. And God said, and God said let, there be light. let there be light. And there was light. Praise the Lord. May there be light in your life as from today. Amen. Let me have a better amen. amen. Um, may the instruction of God come with simplicity. Amen. To you in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, let me take us um, two scriptures back from that Genesis chapter, sorry, chapter one, verse three. Two scriptures back. The Bible says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, in our move on to verse two, and said the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And for the first time, the third person of the Trinity, God, the Holy Spirit, he is God. He is not a wind. He is God. He is not a fire. He is God. He is not the power of God. He is God. He is not a servant to God. He is God, the almighty God. He is God, the creator of the heavens and earth. God, the Holy Spirit, is God, the third person of the Trinity, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. He was present in that verse too. Why was he present? Praise the living Jesus. He was present because one, what was happening on the face of the earth was not the will of God was not the counsel of God. He was there to orchestrate, to supervise. And for those who are in the, in the IT side, he was there like a scrum master. Are you with me? That is taking the instruction from the product owner. Are you with me? And passing it on to the developer, which is the word, to see that there is an implementation and that what the product owner wants or what the sponsor wants is exactly what is brought to life. So the Holy Spirit was there. Amen. So that as God said in, in uh, verse 3, let there be light. The Holy Spirit moved in action. Hallelujah. He moved in action. He backed up the world. Amen. Now, stay with me very close. I'm taking you somewhere. He backed up the instruction of, of, of the word of God so that light may come. So that there can be order, so that there can be healing, so that there can be deliverance. Sense of God, watch this, watch this, watch this. You see, when the word comes, when the word comes, when the word of God comes, if the Holy Spirit does not back it up, there cannot be a manifestation. Let me pause a bit so that you can digest that. When the word of God comes, whether it comes from the scripture or it comes from a prophet, or it comes from a man of God, or it comes from you, if it is not backed up by the Spirit, there cannot be a manifestation. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why our Lord Jesus Christ, 
when he came to earth, remember the Lord Jesus Christ is the word. Amen. Matthew, John, sorry, John chapter one. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God was the word. Our Lord Jesus Christ did not start his ministry until he received the backing of the Holy Spirit. So every word of God must receive the backing of the Holy Spirit before there can be manifestation. Is somebody still with me? Don't let me lose you. Don't let me lose you. Amen. Okay. That is what our Lord Jesus Christ said. He said, the word that I speak, preach with me, the word that I speak, they are what? Yes. They yes. are spirit yes. and they are life. In other words, the word is nothing without the spirit. Without the spirit, the word gives death. The word does not give performance. That is why the Bible says the letter, the word kill it. But it is the spirit that gives life. It is the spirit that backs up the word that brings manifestation. Can I pray for somebody? That that prayer that you have been praying unto the Lord, you have been fasting, you have been looking up unto heaven. Today, may the spirit of God back it up. I pray by the spirit of the living God. By the authority and power in the name of Jesus, that after today, when you pray, the Spirit of God will back up your prayers. Amen. I say it will back up your prayers, Amen. and there shall be manifestation Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, which is more important, the word or the spirit? I won't answer you, I will leave you to meditate on that. But listen to this very carefully. It is better that you seek for the spirit. Amen? Amen. It is better that you seek for the Spirit of God. It is better that you acquaint yourself with the Holy Spirit. It is better that you make yourself a friend of the Holy Spirit. Because anywhere the Spirit is, the Word will be there. Maho Sada. Hey, Karoba. When the Holy Spirit told me that last night, I said, Lord, speak. He said, anywhere the spirit is, the word will be there. But you see, the word can be there and the spirit is not there. Am I talking to somebody? The word can be there and the spirit is not there. Um, a, a missionary um, from, um, from Asia went to the United States and he saw big churches. Packed full, mega churches filled with people. He went there. He said, I went in there but it was empty of the spirit. And it's not only in the US. There are many big congregations, big gathering, big gathering, making joyful noises, but the spirit of God is not there. The Bible says in the book of 2 Kings, I believe it is 2 Kings, amen. The Bible said it turned out, but the Lord was not there. The wind blew. But the Lord was not there. That was an earthquake. You know, there are some gathering, there are some congregation that makes earthquake. They shake everything. But God was not there. The Bible said it was in the small still voice. And Elijah had. Hallelujah. He had. He had. He had. Praise God. So I am trying to encourage you that you should acquaint yourself with the Holy Spirit because that is how you can identify. That is how you will be able to separate the voice of the world from the voice and the voice of God. Your even your human voice, you have an you have a human voice, amen, that speaks to you. You have the power of imagination. Man was created like God. Are you with me? Man was created in the image and likeness, like God. You can imagine, you can think, you have a voice within you. Uh, uh, but because of the fall of man, thank God for redemption. Redemption, but uh, you know that the lease of the devil has not passed. So it still works through the flesh of man. So the voice of man sometimes still contradicts uh, with the voice of God. Acquit yourself with the spirit. And you will hear and recognize the voice of God. How God guides us. My time is fast spent. Let's do this very quickly. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say better amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Point number one. Amen. Point number one. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
Point number one, God guides us through a spoken word. Amen. God guides us through a spoken word. Amen. Amen. And a spoken words, um, if, if you please can open to Acts chapter 9. We're going to look at Acts chapter 9, 10 to 19. But a long text. So we're going to read very fast. But I want us to know that the, the spoken word can come through cancelos. Amen. The spoken word can come through cancelos, can come through prophets. Amen. Can come through teachers. Can come through preachers. Amen. Hallelujah. And can come through confession. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9, verse 10. Yes. And there was a certain disciple at Damascus. Yes, and there was a certain disciple at Damascus. Name Ananias unto him, said the Lord in a vision. Name Ananias and said unto him in a vision. Ananias. Yes. And he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. And he said, and he said, Ananias, and he said, Behold, I am here. Can you hear that? There is communication going on. Amen. Make it still somewhere. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the street which is called straight. Arise and go to the street which is called straight. And inquire in the house of Judas. And inquire in the house of Judah. For one called Saul of Tarsus. Yes. For behold, he prayed. For one called Saul of Tarsus. For behold, what he prayed. And I seen in a vision. Yes. A man named Ananias. A man named Ananias. Coming in. Yes. And putting his hand on him. Yes. That he might receive his sight. That's it. No, yeah, you can stop there, man, because of our time. Hallelujah. Now we can see how God guided Ananias to where Paul was. Amen. That he may pray for him, baptize him with the Holy Spirit, with evidence. And he received the evidence. He received the baptism of the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues. Can I say this to you and I? That receiving the word through a counselor is beautiful. Hallelujah. Amen. Receiving the word of God through a prophet is beautiful. Receiving the word of God through teachers is beautiful. Receiving the word through a preacher is, is beautiful. But I, I would like to stress this, that, that whosoever you are hearing the word of God from, amen, that make sure that the person is a person of character, amen, of good character, hallelujah, is a person of good character, do have an amen in the house. Now, in the book of First Kings chapter 15, we know of the, of the old prophets and the young prophets, amen. Now, the old prophet was a man that had flawed, that, that whose character was flawed. And he came to lie. He told a lie. And he said it was God that told him, that sent him. And as a result, um, it led to the death of the young prophet. So be very careful when um, you get cancelled even from whosoever, irrespective of the title, the office, you know, uh, and, the, and the position. Praise the living Jesus. Huh? And um, how God guides us. Also, um, point number two, God guides us through his revealed word. God guides us through his revealed word. In other words, when the word of God is revealed to us. He guides us through his word being revealed to us. His word can be revealed to us um, through the Bible. Amen. Amen. Um, through Christian literatures. Amen. Um, through journals. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, we can see in Ezra chapter 7 verse 10. Um, Ezra chapter 7 verse 10. Ezra took the word of God. Amen. Amen. And he began to to instruct the people. The Lord was speaking to them through his word. Hallelujah. Amen. He was speaking to them through his word. And um, they, 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 were, they were guided by the word of God. Somebody say amen. amen. They were guided by the word. They were guided by the instructions of God. Uh, uh, and, and, and they received favor in the eyes of God. Somebody say 
it began, and is anyone in um, Ezra 710? For Ezra has prepared his heart to seek the Lord. The Lord. For Ezra, so, don't rush heart. it, sorry, ma'am. Take it take slowly. Ezra has prepared his heart to, 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 yes, seek the Lord, the Lord. to seek the law of the Lord. Amen. Because then they had scrolls. They had the word of God in scrolls. Hallelujah. So he has prepared his heart. So I, I want to encourage you, even with what is happening now, um, go into the word of God. Hallelujah. When this pandemic started, we had a lot of people went online and they said all sorts of things. Hallelujah. They said all sorts. Some said it is the judgment of God. Some said the end has come. Um, some said it was, um, it was G5. All kinds of things. Some did videos, etc. But as children of God, we must learn to go back to the Bible. What is the Lord saying? Amen. And let me tell you, God does not have second class citizen children. We are all first class citizen children unto the Lord. Amen. There is no such thing as um, a holder, a younger one. We are all children of God. So you, we all have equal right to approach the word of God, to seek his face and say, Lord, talk to me. Concerning my marriage, Lord, talk to me. Concerning my business, Lord, talk to me. Concerning my child, concerning my career, concerning my tomorrow, Lord, guide me. Point number three. Amen. Okay, also in that point number two, um, you, Psalm 119, verse 105. Psalm 119, verse 105 says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. In other words, the word of God guides our path. It guides our feet. Amen. So we have said God guides us through his spoken word. God guides us through his revealed word. And God guides us through our inner witness. Amen. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. God guides us through our inner witness. We have an inner witness. We have a spirit within us. Amen. Amen. We have our own spirit. We also have the Holy Spirit within us. When there is an agreement, amen, it is easy for you to obey the guidance, the instruction, the leading of the Lord. Yes, Romans 8, 16. Yes. It's a, the spirit, and that spirit is the capital S spirit. Amen. I believe in the NIV, the, the new uh, international version, say, use that, say that the, the it would have put a capital S. In other words, the Holy Spirit bears witness with our spirit. Amen. So there is always a witness. Whenever you want to make a decision, hallelujah, before you run to so-and-so to pray for you, I intentionally pause so that that will sink because I'm pressing the number of some people. Before you run to so-and-so to pray for you concerning what you want to do, it is better that you go to the Lord. Let there be a witness. Let there be an agreement. Do you know sometimes someone may be preaching and within you, there is a witness of you disagreeing with what that person is saying. You don't know as much as that person knows. Yes. You are not as experienced as that person. Yes. But what that person is saying at that point in time, there is a witness within you saying that, uh-uh. That is not me speaking. I have not sent that person. Praise the living Jesus. The Bible says the spirit of God bears witness with our spirit that we are sons of God. We are children of God, huh? leading and guiding us in the way that we should go. Praise the living Jesus. And many people, because they have silenced their inner witness, they have missed it in life. They have missed it in destiny. They have made the wrong decision. I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will bring you back Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Point number four. God guides us through dreams and visions. God guides us through dreams and visions. Um, can I say this? Um, that if you are someone who dreams and you forget your dream, you need to go to God in prayer. 
and ask him to deliver you. Praise the Lord. Ask him to deliver you. Because what may be happening, please watch my words. I'm not saying what is happening. I'm saying what may be happening is that the Lord has given you an instruction, has given you a word, has given you a directive, but the enemy came to steal it. Remember the parable of the sower. The Bible says some of the seed fell on thorny ground. Some fell on the wayside. Um, some fell, you know, on the rocky soil. There, there was a particular one. The board came to eat it. Came to eat it. It did not grow roots. You see, the enemy comes to steal that before the person wakes up. And sometimes it could be um, a kind of um, distraction that somebody just come to wake you in the midst of that dream and tell you some kind of a rubbish thing or tell you that your phone is ringing and cuts you off what the Lord is saying to you. Such a person, you have to pray them to be far away from your life. I, 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 do you get what I'm saying? Or warn them strongly. Whenever I am sleeping, don't wake me because you don't know when the Lord is speaking to me. Do I have an amen in the house? Amen. So the enemy sometimes come to steal dreams. Now, I am not saying that all dreams comes from God. Praise the Lord. Now, let me, let me try and balance it. Any dream that you have that brings terror and fear into your life is not of God. It's not of God. Just cancel it. Um, perhaps maybe you had a dream and you saw yourself in a coffin. Just cancel the dream. That is the enemy showing you what he wants to do to you. That is not God. Praise the Lord. Even if you saw evil in your dream, God will witness to you that I will deal with it. Amen. Because you and I, let me tell you the truth. You will not see an evil coming to your child and you fold your hands. It is not possible. Hallelujah. Even we parents, when something happened to our child in school, we know how we, we take our headgear around our waist and, you know, march down to the school and say, do you know what? We will deal with the principal, with everyone. You, you get what I'm saying? We go there. Who is that person that did that? How much more God? That is more righteous than us. The devil cannot touch you as long as you are under the shadow of his wings. Praise the living Jesus. God guides us through audible voices. Amen. Um, scriptures for dreams and visions. We can look at Genesis 38 and also Genesis 41. Time is not on my side to read. And God guides us through um, God guides us through audible voices. First Samuel chapter 3. When God calls Samuel, Samuel out. He had. God still speaks to us through audible voices. Amen. God still speaks to us through audible voices. You will agree with me. It would have happened to you before that you just add your name. You just add your name and you looked around. You're like, who called me? Who called me? God still calls people. It's either God has been saying something to you in your inner witness and you have not been paying attention. And the try calls your name. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. And he calls your name. He speaks to you. And let me tell you sometimes again what happens through audible voices. Because some people may look at it. Oh, um, it, it is um, the days of the Old Testament. No. There are times you are sitting down by yourself. And you are having a conversation with yourself. And in a way, it looks as if it looks as if you, uh, you are getting carried away. Take that in up there. Amen. It looks as if you are getting carried away. Are you with me? You are getting carried away. It is reflecting in my eyes. Amen. It looks as if the, no, the, the phone, the phone. Amen. It, it looks as if you are, you are carried away in the conversation. It now looks as if you are talking to somebody. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, what is happening is that God is speaking to you. Amen. God is what is speaking to you. It is an audible voice of God. It doesn't have to sound like that which you see on TV. I am the God of heaven. No, no, no. 
God having a conversation with you and you are hearing God and you are replying God. What you are replying, sometimes you hear your mouth moving and you are whispering to yourself and somebody comes and says, are you talking to yourself? God speaks to us through audible voices. And my last point on this is that God guides us through his angels. Matthew chapter 1 verse 20. Matthew chapter 1 verse 20. God guides us through his angels. Amen. Hallelujah. The, the days, yes, please. For, for why we talk of these things. But th this, this was the story of Joseph and um, when the wise men came and um, Herod and told the wise men, once you see the boy, come back and give me what? Yes. Um, but while he thought of these things. But while he thought of these things. The, old, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him. The angel of the Lord appeared unto him. In a dream saying. Saying. Joseph. Joseph. Thou son of David. Thou son of David. Fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife. Oh, this is the one that uh, when Mary was, was pregnant. Yes. For that which is conceived, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Hallelujah. An angel appeared to Joseph. Joseph was about to put Mary away. Amen. Joseph was about to put, but an angel appeared. Now watch this. Listen, listen. Angels may appear in human form. <clears throat> angels may appear in human form. Remember the story of um, Abraham in the book of Genesis. Abraham may appear in human form. Let me tell you, in some churches, angels are there. They are there. I pray that the Lord will add angels to our churches. Do I have an amen? amen? You see them serving. You don't know their house. Amen? <laughs> they just come, they serve. They don't complain. They act like normal. But you don't know their background. You don't know much about them. And suddenly, they just move on. Hallelujah. Amen. They are angels. They are angels. Angels have come to our churches. Angels have sat before, beside you before. Amen. Angels have sat before you. They have even tested your temperament. Hallelujah. And you know some people, they have some particular chairs that they sit on. An angel will come and sit on that chair. And when you get to church that Sunday, you see somebody there. You begin to wink, to wink your eyes to look at the person that you are not happy that that person is sitting on your chair. Yeah, 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 yeah. The angel is checking you out. Hallelujah. There are angels on the streets. Some may even sit down by the roadside like a beggar, looking to test how generous you are. And the Lord would have told you, give, give, sow the seed. And you look at the person, you look at the beggar, you, you just ease and you just walk away. There are still the ministry of angels. Angels are still around us. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. I believe that many battles have been fought today by angels. When we lift up our voices in prayers, these angels, they move in actions. Angels can be visible. Angels can be invisible. The Lord speaks to us through his angels. Somebody say amen. amen. And I pray for somebody on the line that wherever your angel has been held captive, there shall be a release in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me round up as I conclude. Benefits of God's guidance. One. When God guides you, it will guide you along the path of joy. Amen. The pathway of joy. Um, Psalm 16, verse 11. When God guides you, it will guide you along the pathway of your life for joy. Point number two. God, When God guides you, I'm talking about the benefit of God's guidance. When God guides you, he watches over you. When God guides you, he watches over you. Point number three. When God guides you, he will not strive with you. When God guides you, he will not strive with you. You can't be in problem with God when God is guiding you. He's the one that asked you to do it. He was the one that asked you not to do it. Point number four. When God guides you, it shall end in your joy. Somebody say amen. amen. Say a better amen. amen. When God guides you, it will always end in your joy. It may not make sense. The step you are taking may not make sense. It may not look like but it will always end in your joy. Praise the Lord. And point number six, when God, sorry, point number five, when God guides you, he will show you his covenant. Psalm 25, verse 14. Psalm 25, verse 14. When God guides you, he will show you 
his covenant. Point number six, when God guides you, integrity and uprightness shall preserve you. Praise the living Jesus. In other words, it doesn't matter the trap the enemy has set for you. It doesn't matter how they have planned it. Remember, one of our generals in the Lord, um, I don't want to mention um, his name, amen, but we all know the story. Um, some some uh, media guys, uh, they have set um, some, some prostitute, uh, um, by the door and they came with a camera. The man was in his hotel. The plan was they will knock on the door. Once he opens the door of the hotel, the girls will jump in and they will take the pictures and they will show it because this man preaches holiness. But that um, on that trip, he went with his wife. He went with his wife on that trip. So when uh, the door knocked, uh, he was not the one that went here. And we're talking about when God guides you, integrity and uprightness shall, what? shall preserve you. They were uh, innocently, the wife was the one that opened the door. Praise the living Jesus. And as she opened the door, they, um, they, they jumped they jumped on her. Amen. The, the girls, they jumped on her. And as they jumped on her, they took the picture and they realized that it has stopped. Amen. And they realized that it was um, the, the, the wife. That now is how God preserved him. Praise the living Jesus. Um, as a way of conclusion, uh, I'm trusting God that the Lord will preserve you. The Lord will keep you or will guide you in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, one, be a child of God. If you want God to guide you, be a child of God. Give your life to Christ. The Bible says in John chapter 3, verse 5, John chapter 3, verse 5. Are you in John? You want to read John 3, verse 5? Say, except a man is born again, a man, it cannot. Uh, very, 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 I say unto you, except a man is born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Except a man is born again, he, he cannot enter, he cannot see the you kingdom. Know, you must be born again. If you want to enjoy divine guidance, if you want to enjoy God guiding you, guiding your step, you must be born again. When, number two, serve the Lord. Exodus 23, 25. And you must be serving in one department or the other in your local assembly. Don't be a, 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 a bench warmer. Uh, those that you see, it is the cutlass. It is, there's an adage, we are about, it is the cutlass that you use, that you sharpen and you clean. You get it? The one you don't use, you keep it on one side and it gets rusted. May your gift not get rusted. Do have an amen, amen in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, um, Exodus 23, 25. And you shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless your bread and your water. And I will take sickness away from the midst. Can you see that when you serve the Lord? Amen. When you serve the Lord, the Lord said it will, it will bless your bread. It will bless your water. It will remove sickness. It will, you must serve God. Hallelujah. You must serve God. You must serve. Even if you, you are outside the church, you must keep serving. You are an ambassador of Christ. Point number three, um, conclusion, you must trust him and obey him. You must trust God and obey him. Hallelujah. Uh, you, you, you know, the, 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 the widow that God sent Elijah to, to go, and Elijah, God has said to Elijah, I'm sending you to a widow that will feed you. He got to the widow. Uh, the, the, the widow said, we don't have food. But the woman trusted and obeyed. And the Bible said a barrel uh, of oil did not go down. Hallelujah. Yeah. Um, she had more than enough throughout the time of famine. You must learn to trust God. You must learn to trust God with your tithe. You must learn to trust God with your offering. You must learn to trust God with your money in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, I was having a chat with a young lady, very, very, very fervent, very, very committed. She said to me, Pastor, the only problem I have is, my, is, is this money. I find it difficult to part my uh, way with my money and give it to God. Said I can give any other thing, but you see my money, I struggle with it. You must learn to trust God. You must learn to obey God. Praise the living Jesus. You came empty. You will leave empty. Are you with me? And when you leave, you will stand before God to give account of every resources, including your time, including your money that he has given unto you. You must fear the Lord. Psalm 25 verse 12. You must fear the, the Lord. Amen and amen. Um, 
Uh, point number five, let your heart be pure and full of joy. And the last point, uh, live a life of humility. Praise the living Jesus. Uh, praise the living Jesus. Uh, we've talked to you about how God guides. Amen. I know it's, it's a bit of a long message. Um, and we've also talked to you about the benefits of guidance. Uh, and more importantly, we have talked to you how the, your roles, what is expected of you. Please be, be continuous. Let there be continuity. Uh, with your walk with the Lord. Live a life of humility. Live a life of humility. Be humble. Hallelujah. Be humble. Amen. You, look, look at what um, this virus has done. This virus has humbled all the nations. This virus has humbled all the head of state, all the president. This virus has humbled everyone. Now we realize, I was having a chat with my friend yesterday. I said, can you imagine between, Jan uh, between January and data, we have not bought a single shirt. We have not bought a pair of shoe. We have not done anything. We have now seen that there are many things that are not important. A lot of things that has made us to be proud. They are what? They are not as important as we thought. thought. I am trusting God that this message will guide you into a worthy place in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to pray with you. You want to enjoy divine guidance. You want God to begin to order your steps. You want God to lead you. Wherever you are, I want you to bow your head. I want you to close your eyes and give your life to Christ or rededicate your life to Christ. If you are not born again, it will be difficult for you to recognize the voice of God. Even though God wants to speak to you. Even though God wants to speak to you. The Bible says, he that sins is of the devil. Anyone that is not born again is of the devil. And when God is speaking to the person, the devil will be blocking that word. The devil becomes a blocker. But when you give your life to Christ, the devil cannot block it. Hallelujah. Even if he tries to block it, you have the authority to cast out the devil. Say, Lord Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Have mercy on me. Forgive me, O oh Lord. Wash me with your precious blood. Write my name in the book of life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am born again. I am a child of God. Please fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me to serve you. Fill me to obey you. Fill me to trust you. Fill me, oh God, to be the best anyone can be for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want us to take the song to worship the Lord because I believe the Lord is saying something to someone. Even right now. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy. Dear oh Lord, O oh Lord, to receive glory, honor, and, and power, for thou art created all things and for the pleasure. Thou art worthy. No, 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 there is someone on the line or let me put it this way you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb or you know someone trusting God for the fruit of the womb the angels of the Lord are here to minister fruitfulness Amen. I'm going to take that song one more time and as I take the song, I want you to be talking to the Lord. You have just about 30 seconds because of our time. Thou art worthy. 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 
that your angel will locate them right now. Amen. Amen. You will show your mercy, O oh God. Amen. Let that womb be open. Amen. Let every blocked fallopian to be created. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I pray for creative miracles. Amen. I pray for creative miracles. Amen. I pray for creative miracles. Amen. There is someone on the line is as a result of your health that you have been having miscarriages. In the name of Jesus, I release the palm of healing from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Receive your healing and be fruitful. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing and be fruitful. One more time, I say receive your healing and be fruitful. In the name of Jesus, there is someone you have been boasting you are doing well. You have been boasting you are doing well. Your boast is not negative. Your boast is not arrogancy. You are boasting you are happy that you are doing well. And you are a good person. The Lord say, I should say unto you, is about to open a new chapter of greatness for you. All that which you think you have now, Compared to what is coming your way, shall be nothing. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to make you great. Amen. I want to pray for someone who is trusting God for a business idea. In the name of Jesus, if you are that person, wherever you are, just lift up one. You don't have to be ashamed. Amen. It is not about me, it's about God. You know, in your heart of heart, you are trusting God for an idea. It could be a job. It could be a guidance, it could be an instruction or what you want to do. You don't know, you are not sure, it is not clear. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the authority and power in your name, I declare open heavens over that life in the name of Jesus. I declare open heavens over that family in the name of Jesus. Begin to hear God expressly. Begin to hear God with simplicity in the mighty name of Jesus. Every blockage in your ear, I command them to be removed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that has been stealing the instruction of God in your heart when you sleep, I bind them in the name of Jesus. I cast them into the dry places. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There is someone on the line. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. Now listen, this is what the Lord said. That what you are passing through is as a result of a particular visit that you made. There was a place you visited. And that is what that is where or how that trouble started. What you thought was a problem before was not a problem. What you are now managing now is now a bigger problem that you don't understand. I want you to pray before I pray for you. You are going to pray and say, Father, wherever I went to, I made my destiny to be tampered with. Lord, come and have mercy. Repair my destiny. Restore my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I give you 30 seconds to pray that prayer. Wherever you are, you know yourself. Even as I mentioned that word of knowledge now, there was a witness within you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There was a witness within you. It was as a result of a visit that you made. There was a place you went to. That was a place you went to. My Osa. Whether it is a residential place 
Whether it was a shrine, I don't know, but it was as a result of a visit. I want you to pray that the Lord will restore, the Lord will heal, the Lord will repair. The Bible says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Begin to bring your prayer to a close. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare by the authority and power in the name of Jesus, let your destiny be restored. Amen. Let your destiny receive repair Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our God is the author and the finisher. Yes. Let the author and the finisher rewrite your destiny for good. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you receive the shout, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout a better hallelujah. hallelujah. Before we close, I believe the Lord is saying something. The Lord is saying something. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Maho Rabashi. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh, thank you. Maho Sekede. Yes. Maho Rabashi. Two words. Maho Two words of knowledge. Maho Sadarabashi. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. On Facebook, just pray in the Holy Ghost. On Instagram, on YouTube, pray in the Holy Ghost. Ma Eke. The word of God is coming unto you. It's coming live. My Ekema Osa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. My Osa Eke. Now, this is it. There is somebody on the line. You are always robbed of your goodness, trying to understand how to put it. Through dreams. It is through dreams that things just go negative. I want to pray for you because of our time. I believe the Lord has dealt with it. Amen. Mm -hmm. So it's not really about my prayer, but because the Lord has said, because when God has mentioned something, it's because he has dealt with it or he wants to deal with it. So I pray for you in the name of Jesus that the angels of God shall be released now Amen. against the gate of hell that has risen up against you. Amen. That is stealing your good dreams, Amen. stealing your blessings, Amen. stealing your future through dreams. Amen. All those powers shall be arrested. Amen. They shall be chained into the bottomless pit. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, Who art thou, O ye mountain, before Zerubbabel? Thou shalt be complained. In the name of Jesus. Any power that comes close to you to rob you of any blessing through dream, may the sword of the Lord scatter them to pieces. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Now, this last one is about hearing God. I hear the word intuition. I hear the word inner witness. A lot of things has happened. Oh, my God. My God. A lot of things has happened to you. You are, it's like I see a kind of an heavy load. Now, that heavy load came from you. Not from outside, from you. You are the one, you have put that load upon, permit me to use the word gift, that makes you not to be hearing God again. So you're not hearing God is as a result of what you have loaded in your heart or your mind. That person that I'm talking to, you know yourself. So even right now, the simple prayer that is coming to me is that you should forgive and let go. If there's any malice you have, unforgiveness, or worry, anxiety. Let it go now. Let it go now. Let it go now. Begin to talk to the Lord. Begin to talk to the Lord. Begin to talk to the Lord. Our time is fast spent. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. My hair came out. Let it go. Let it go. Release. Release that person. Release that thing. Or is that something the Lord asks you to release and you're holding on to it? Is there an instruction God has given unto you and you have not obeyed? It has become an heavy weight, a kind of a load. They are like towels. 
They are like piles of towers that you it has been stacked upon something in you, your spirit man. It has become heavy. You can't hear God. Begin to release. Say, Lord, let there be a release. Say, I let go. My hair came out so the robot The Bible said, Whosoever the Son of God has set free is free indeed. Father, I ask that your Holy Spirit will set that person free. Let every spirit of heaviness be overthrown. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy into your life. May your spirit man arise. May God take his place in your life and in your home. Begin to bring your prayer to a close with thanksgiving. And say, Father, Lord, I thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord. The Lord is still speaking, but our time is fast spent. Rabo say a kema dorobo she oriba. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be the name of Lord. Praise, honor, adoration to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your children. I thank you for myself also that in your mercy you have used. It is not because I'm qualified, but your mercy qualified me. Lord, I want to say thank you. For who am I, what is my household? Lord, I return all the glory unto you. And I pray for your children that as they have spoken in your hearing, let there be testimonies. Amen. Let your spirit back up every word. Amen. Back up every prayer. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. let us return with lorry loads of testimonies. Amen. Let us return with lorry loads of breakthroughs. Amen. Make Amen. us so with us, O oh God. Amen. Let the souls that we will let them remain. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. I pray for every title, it will not be tied for you. Amen. I pray for everyone that is giving. You will not lack seeds to give. You will not lack bread to, to eat. Your children will not beg for bread. The Bible says, once I was young, now I'm old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor is seed begging for bread. Your children will not beg. Let me have it. My children will not beg. In the name of Jesus. Your children will not beg. My children will not beg. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be the name. In Jesus' mighty name. And the people of God say, Amen. Thank you to everyone on the line that connected. We are live again on Friday night vigil. 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Hallelujah. And we are having a guest speaker. Praise the living Jesus. It is going to be awesome. And I will be here. The Holy Ghost will be here. will be with you. And I know you will be here likewise. Praise God. Wednesday is a Bible study. 7 to 8.30. I believe you have our Zoom link on our Facebook, on our Instagram. Enjoy the Bible studies. We are the in-depth word of the Lord. And the people of God will back it off in the name of Jesus. My name is Charles Edo. My channel of us here is Pastor E.A. Adeboye. Let us share the praise of fellowship in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely his goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our confession, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I, Charles, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Seven five, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your week. God bless you. God bless you. Who's that? Thank you, Lord. God bless you, everyone. On Zoom, amen. The, the Adiolas, the Adebiyi, amen. Brother Tony, the Osage, Brother Ezekiel, who is fresh, amen. I would like to know who is fresh, praise the Lord. How about you? 
Brother Ayo is fresh. Oh, Brother Ayo is fresh. Amen. Amen. I know Galas S10. Is that um, Sister Arovo? Amen. Who is Infinix Note 10? Note 5. Praise God. Infinix. The Jayola, the Lord bless you. Sister Melissa. Amen. Uh, that's Sister Tayo. Praise God. Um, Sister Tony Lawa. Amen. Uh, when is the birthday of uh, the twins? Please send our cake, Brother Wale. The Lord bless you. Praise the Lord. Please send my love to the children. Amen. Sister Lawansi, Sister Tinuke. God bless you. Amen. And also, let's remember to um, ask our children to dial into the um, children's class. We'll be starting in seven minutes. And also the children's children <laughs> at two o'clock. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Bless you too, brothers. Oh, thank you. God bless you. Is that Brother Justice? God bless yes, you. Sir. Oh, yeah, I do the dialing in.